So far, we haven't seen rescue attempts. You can see neighborhoods are now underwater there, the water covering them. We are seeing complete destruction. Hurricane Ian update. Guys, we got a ton of backpacks in. Remember, we're going to be filling... This is probably less than a tenth of all the items we got. We packed 103 backpacks. We are $5,000. Here we are with Matarace to leave of the Children's Network of Southwest Florida. And we just delivered... So, how do we get here? Hurricane Ian was the deadliest hurricane to hit Florida in nearly 100 years. At first, it was just a small tropical storm coming off the western coast of Africa, but it quickly escalated into a Category 4 hurricane. It was on track to directly hit my area, so we had to evacuate our home. Luckily, my house was safe, but I wanted to help out somehow. This was devastating to anyone living in South Florida, and there was absolute destruction at every corner. That is when I started a fundraiser with a goal of $10,000. I was raising money for supplies, specifically for children and families affected by Hurricane Ian. After only a week, we surpassed our goal and raised $10,400. Valentina, we already raised $10,000. What? This surprised me so much. The support from friends, family, and even complete strangers was incredible. Now it was time to find a place to deliver the supplies to. I searched for weeks and weeks without finding anything until... Children's Network of Southwest Florida? This organization seemed perfect. They were based near Fort Myers and had nearly a 20-year history of helping children and families in South Florida. I got in contact with the amazing Miss Nadare Salim. I texted her and asked what supplies they needed. With the help of Miss Salim, here's the items that I decided on for donations. Diapers, baby wipes, socks, blankets, toys, and snacks. We also wanted to buy backpacks because many kids are still out of school six weeks after this hurricane hit. We did the math on how many backpacks we could buy with the funds and decided on 300. On top of all these items, we planned on buying $5,000 worth of gift cards for groceries and gas because this was the biggest need at the time. The next week was spent buying items and eventually they all came in. When they all got here, I couldn't believe how much there was. These backpacks with items to help children and families in South Florida. And I want to show you guys some of the backpacks that we got in. Lots more backpacks and items have been ordered and are coming in very soon. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Stay tuned for the next one. And thank you so much to everyone who donated. Look how many baby wipes you already have. And we still have all of these to open. We're going to have so many by the time this is over. That's crazy. So guys, we are currently two days out from shipment day. And we have so many supplies in right now. In these bags, we have all the diapers and stuffed animals, all the blankets and boxes, all of our backpacks that we're going to be filling these items with right here and here. Tons of open and unopened boxes of more and more supplies. Even more diapers over here, all around here. Some snacks. And what I didn't even realize at the time was that in those boxes that were just shown, there were double the amount of items that I just showed you, which really shows the sheer amount of items we were able to buy. This is probably less than a tenth of all the items we got, which really shows the scale of how impactful this fundraiser is going to be. Now that everything came in, it was time to start packing the backpacks. In each of the backpacks, we have five items that we're filling it with. First is snacks. We also have baby wipes, a blanket, a stuffed animal, and a coloring book and crayons. Aside from the backpack, we're also going to be giving diapers and $5,000 worth of Walmart gift cards for gas, groceries, and anything else they may need. We're done with day one. We packed 103 backpacks. Ah, it's been like seven hours, but it's okay. It's worth it. These gift cards behind me are $5,000 worth. After a month of fundraising and work, we have 10 bags left. Let's fill them up. We spent 10 to 15 hours packing the backpacks over the course of two days and we're set to deliver until... Hey guys, so the plan was to deliver supplies today for Hurricane Ian, but early Hurricane Nicole is hitting us too. It's not as severe luckily, so we're going to be okay, but supplies will now be delivered Monday. Thank you guys and stay tuned. Luckily, this was only a Category 1 hurricane, leaving little damage compared to Ian. We set a new date of November 14th and the day came up quickly. It was time to deliver $10,000 worth of supplies to Fort Myers. It's loading day! I'm here with Larry from Ambassador Limousine, and we are going to be packing all the items that we gathered right now. We're going to go down, we're going to help the hurricane eating folks. We're going to make them feel really, really cool. Whoa! Nice. I did it! Here we go, guys. Look at all of the backpacks behind me. In total, this is 300 filled with socks, toys, <gasps> baby wipes, diapers, snacks, gift cards, and more. And behind me, we have even more baby wipes and diapers in these bags. It's going to be amazing. 
Man, I just have to say, this is one of the most heartwarming things I've ever been a part of. The Children's Network of Southwest Florida welcomed us with open arms, and it was such an amazing experience to go down there and deliver all the backpacks and all the items that we had gathered over the past month and a half. It was a lot of hard work, and to see it pay off was amazing. We even had a competition to see who could carry the most backpacks, and this guy won. I think he had 36. It was absolutely crazy. And once all the backpacks were put in the room, it was awesome to see. Plus, all the other items that we brought, it was amazing. Here we are with Matarese. Salim of the Children's Network of Southwest Florida, and we just delivered all of these backpacks. This is amazing. Better, do you want to tell us a little bit about how they're going to be distributed? Yes. Yeah, so first, I want to thank Enzo Wilson and all the people that he gathered to support him in making this amazing, amazing donation of backpacks and diapers and supplies for the kids and families that have been affected by Hurricane Ian. As you know, we were sort of ground zero of the hurricane, and we have thousands and thousands of families that have been displaced. So your donation of Backpacks and supplies will be going to kids that are in foster homes and kids that have been placed with other families because their own homes have been, you know, impacted or because of abuse and neglect. So this will go to great use and to see a young man with this much heart and passion and compassion for others has made me hopeful that we can achieve great things and you've already done that and today you have blessed us with all of this and I just can't thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Valerie. Without you, this wouldn't have been possible. We wouldn't have had a place to donate to you. So thank you so much. And also, along with all of the backpacks, we wanted to present you with $5,000 worth of Walmart gift cards. <laughs> yeah! We will never forget this generosity. And Thank there you. we have it, you guys. The delivery was a success. These items will be going to foster homes for children that have been displaced from the hurricane. And I'm honestly extremely proud that we were able to do this. This was an amazing project, and it took a long time to get done. But once we did, it felt so fulfilling to know that these items were going to a good place. A massive thank you to everyone who donated to make this possible. There were so many amazing people who donated to and shared this fundraiser. Without you all, this would have never happened. And now a large number of children and families in South Florida will receive some much-needed relief. And the biggest thank you of all goes to Miss Nadare Salim from the Children's Network of Southwest Florida, because without you, we wouldn't have had a place to deliver this to. Thank you so much again.